All right. Hello and welcome. My name is Jason Welsh. And the next thing we're going to look at Blender is how to sculpt using a texture. Okay. So same as before, I'm just going to add a multi-res to this object and apply some levels to it. So how would I do that? Well, let's go into Photoshop for a second and we can make any kind of pattern here. Here I made a cross. Let's, I'm going to start out with a new one though. 2048 by 2048. And this time I'm going to do something a little bit different because the cross is boring in my opinion. Let's see. What I'm going to do is go in here and use some of the brushes, maybe the fox finish brushes and append them. Now you can use GIMP to do this, but I'm just using Photoshop just for the sheer fun of it. So. What I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to stamp it like that. What generally does help, however, is to make it round. Okay, so if you want to make something round, I can control Z that. I can go in here to the elliptical marquee tool and use Alt and Shift at the same time to click and drag out a circle. Then I can go into my brush and stamp it. See? Pretty cool, huh? Okay, now select, deselect. Perfect. Now, let's say file, save as, and let's save this somewhere where we can get a hold of it. I'll call this patch and I'll place it on my desktop. Twenty four bits. So I'll go back into Blender. I'll zoom in a little bit. And go into material mode, then texture mode, and go in here and add a new texture to my library. So I'm gonna hit new texture. It's gonna be an image. That image is on my hard drive, so I'm gonna have to load it. Desktop. I called that patch. You can see it's compatible with pick or with <laughs> Blender because of that little blue dot right there. Select image. There we go. So to use that in sculpt mode, all I do is go back to sculpt mode, and in sculpt mode I have this button set. Texture. Click. And see how it's named Texture 001? Now, where you change that, because it's really handy to, if I go back to Material, I have this. And I can call this Patch. Then what happens when I go back here, it's labeled Patch. Patch. So now I can switch brushes really quick and I know what, what I'm looking for. And how I use patch, there's several different ways. One, I could use it just to drag across the mesh and it would add some distortion noise to it. I'm just going to add another level here. Or what I could do is go into here and hit drag, anchor point, draw, and I can click and drag my brush out just like that. So much like ZBrush would have uh, high res detail, you can also do that within Blender. Okay, pretty sweet, no doubt, right? And of course, you can't reach the millions and millions of polygons, but you can get close. You can, you know, keep adding levels, and it'll it'll slowly get to the point where you can understand it. But see how I did that? This is a, one of the things that I should show you. It's better in my opinion, to go and do stuff at a lower level like this, like if I had some levels here and here, and then take and go up a level, it smooths it out really nice. So just keep that in mind. That's a nice little feature. Uh, let's see. I also added, I kind of want to show you the cross. So I'm just going to go in here to materials, that one, click on the new one, 
add new from an image load desktop and I'll go get cross there we go and I'll call that cross just like that now I'll go back and I should have that as my texture cross okay now what I want to do is kind of show you the difference between brushes so if I go to brush make sure my anchor point on so if I go maybe into a different brush like oh let's say layer make sure its anchor point is on can make a nice sculpt in the mesh and some you have to subtract instead of add what you're seeing here is that dip in the mesh occurs because of this curve okay this curve matches the dip within here see this how it dips down in here that's the same as if it dips down in here Okay, how I could reset the curve and make some goofy effects is basically go in here to the monkey wrench and hit reset curve. And now if I try it, I'm going to get an indent. And the same as, you know, messing around with any Belzinian curve. If I want to just broadcast it on the mesh just a little bit can lower this curve down and it just sits on the outer layer of the mesh pretty sweet no doubt so that is sculpting with a texture within blender enjoy